You're on your feel good breakfast show right here on S3. And my lovely this morning, we're not just celebrating the fact that the weekend is upon us. There's bry vibes in Cape Town. We're doing the things that need to be done. There's even going to be a young, incredible artist that is going to be here with us. But right about now is a powerhouse woman who inspires so many. And I'm so excited for us to be able to get to know more about her journey. Billie Jean King said that champions keep playing until they get it right. And that describes this very woman right here because she is someone who has overcome adversity, economical challenges and so much more. And she has actually decided that she wants to leave a legacy and make sure that her journey is in fact impactful. And it is because Swap Vend is what we need to know about my beautiful Expresso family. One that in fact is something that's all about taking the informal sector in terms of business in Africa and taking it online. And Ashmita Singh is the queen that is behind this. And this is why we need to give her a feel good welcome everybody. Come on, it's Ashmita. Oh. Ashmita, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for that intro. I really it's appreciate true. that. Uh, girl, you are a beautiful woman that was raised in Phoenix, Durban. And yes. you came from so many different, you know, I, I want to say uh, different things that kind of put you in situations that weren't the best. And this is why I said, you know, you're someone thank who keeps you. on persevering, keeps on going. But speak to me about this. You know, where did you get the spirit to keep on moving on no matter what it was that came your way in terms of adversity? My answer is very simple. Mm. It's Jesus. You know, oh, it's been God. That. It's Yay. been God. And it's difficult to follow up with the story after that because, I mean, it says it all. Yes. But, um, go, no but, but when, <laughs> but <laughs> going back to growing up mm. uh, and the adversities that you speak of, I didn't know back then that this was all part of a greater plan, which I now know. Sure. And going through those different situations, I've been through quite a lot and that's a whole other interview I'll come back for. But <laughs> yes. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of trauma. I've dealt mm. with a lot of different things that come from, irrespective of where you come from, it's just humanity. Yeah. And the more things that got thrown at me and the more things that happened, I just somehow developed more heart for it. Mm. And I'm sitting here in front of you and the people closest to me know that the miracle itself is that I'm sitting here because yeah. I survived. Um, and God has helped me to thrive. And now I can give that back. And everything that we do, including Swabvent, has that heart that is at the center of everything that we do. That is so beautiful. Thank and you. Ashmita, like I said, you know, you're inspiring a lot of people because adversity, unfortunately, it's the norm in South Africa. Yes, yes. But, but coming from that and deciding that you want to actually help other people to possibly not even have to face that adversity when it comes to certain things, particularly with business, yes. I think it's so incredible. Yes. And this is why yes. I have to ask you about Swabvent. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Talk to us about Swabvent. What is it that we need? Need to know about it uh, for anyone sitting there going i need to know more what are the details okay so i get really excited when people ask me about swap vend because mm. in order to tell you what swap vend is i get to describe what south africa is because yes. we're building it for south africa yeah and i'm going to ask you right you know this that the one thing that south africa has is the hustle mentality girl right girl right i, I always say to people yeah. that for me the best entrepreneurs are the people who are on the streets Literally. Right? Literally. Right? Yes. And the sad thing is that they're on the streets yes. and they deserve, everyone's walking with this value. Mm. So let me just take us right outside to the street, right? William Nickel Drive, Winnie Mandela Drive. Mm. Every robot, every traffic light, all the way from Santon Drive, all the way up to Four Ways. Everyone has a different entrepreneur trying to do something. Yeah. I'm calling them entrepreneurs whether they are participating or not they because are. you've got the guys who are directing traffic. No mm. one asked them to do it. You've got the guys who are selling you car license disc holders, Cans. South African flag, yes. sunglasses. Cabs. I'm here for that. Yes. And then you've got, and the next one, there's a beggar. And have you noticed beggars don't beg anymore? Mm. They're transacting with you. They're collecting your dirt. That's true. They're trying to participate. And at the highest level, that's what Swabvind is. We are a vehicle that's taking people from uh, non-participation yeah. into participation. Mm. And that's that's what we are doing. And as you can see, this yellow taxi, what, uh -oh. we are, what we've developed is a digital taxi. Yes. So a quick example of these guys standing on the street Currently, as it stands, if someone wants to transact with them, it's really difficult. You're not going to put your window down. You're feeling a bit apprehensive to engage. Mm. But Swapvin digitizes that interaction. And instead of a guy having to jump in a taxi, bring that car license disc holder all the way to Winnie Mandela Drive, we're trying to connect him online mm. so that he only makes that commute when he's ready to close his deal. Oh, wow. That makes so much yes. sense. I mean, I feel like it even cuts out the costs that you have to 100%. go through. hundred yes. percent. Yes, yes. That's beautiful. Yep. So speak to me about this then. How do you plan to connect South Africa with Swapvend? I really love that question so much. So mm. thank you for asking me because that's exactly <laughs> what we are trying to do. We are trying to connect the informal and formal sectors. And I want to just summarize it in this very high level four steps that we're taking. Yeah. And that's number one is getting our digital 
digital taxi on the road. Yeah. So going live, which will be on Monday. I know we're going to speak about that uh, just now. Number two, it's about bringing the informal sector online. Mm. We're very intentional about that because we've got in-community partners across townships in South Africa. Yes. So we're going to bring people online. Number three, we want to make people visible. I told you that value is sitting everywhere. It's just that people can't access it. Mm. And finally, we want to give people access, make it easy. And if I can spend one second there, I'm a woman, I go to Builders Warehouse, I'm trying to buy stuff and I'm t leaving, I need someone to put up a frame for me, I need someone to paint something for me. Yeah. The guys are right outside, but I don't know how to interact with them because it's difficult to have that engagement. Now I can come outside, I can get onto SwapVent, I can connect with someone, I can schedule my service and the guy can come over and he can put up my stuff. Yeah. I'm still using the South African entrepreneur, but I've made that interaction easier. Beautiful, so, yeah. I love that. And with you talking about going live, yes. Give us all the details. What do we need to know? Okay, so uh, right now we are live on our registration. So I really urge everyone to get online. We need both sides of the economy to be online for this mm -hmm. to really be effective. Yeah. So uh, you send hi to the WhatsApp number that's on the screen right now. And you basically follow the registration. On Monday, the entire MVP goes live mm -hmm. where you can buy, sell and learn on the platform. Wow. And you say learning? That's exciting. Yeah. So, I mean, everything is really about education and making sure, and not education in this boring style. Hey, we yeah. are really thinking about how to make it relevant. Yeah. So this is not a whole lot of noise because that's what's out there. But it's understanding that if you're taking someone from the street and putting them online, that mm. we need to equip them to do that nice. and make them competitive because mm. we need people to trade with them. And be believe it or not, you and I need to be educated as well Thanks. in order to make that interaction meaningful. Yes. yes. Girl, you are such a powerhouse. My goodness. Uh, so talking about SwapVent five years from now, where do you see it? I see the entire country online. I see all townships online. I see us being there. I think the most important thing is that this might sound like a fluffy answer, mm. but if I see someone who's begging on the street, I want it to be out of choice. Because so. I want to know that he, that person has an option to get online. Yes. And that person has an option to be visible in a marketplace that was designed just for them. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm so proud of you, Ashmita. Thank you so much. I, I think that we all can be proud of you. And congratulations. Thank you so because much. Because this is the beginning of a very exciting Thank journey. You. And here's to exactly your vision coming true and coming out the way that you wanted to. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for the time of and course. thank you for the opportunity for SwapVent. Of course, my love. Oh thank my you. goodness. Express your family, you heard it here first. Okay, SwapVent, it is going live on Monday. Big things that are going to be happening and it's something that you definitely need to check out. Easy peasy in terms of registration. It was all in the WhatsApp number. And friend, I hope that you are going to take absolute advantage of it. Because like oh, Ashmita said, we always need to be taking advantage of the places where we can learn, where we can grow and where we can become better. It is SwapVent. It is all about taking South Africa's informal business sector and putting it online. And it is amazing to see, honestly and truly. You're still on your Feel Good Breakfast show. There's so much that is still coming your way between now and nine o'clock, which is why you need to stick around. But for now, what's happening, Kate Teasy?